Today on Fish the Baja, I joined Stefan Jansen for some huge rooster fish. What was that? Something just busted out there big. In a day we call Rooster Fest 2010. Amazing, amazing, amazing power. I don't even think this is that huge a one. I'll have him this next wave. Fish the Baja, presented by Ono's. Today we'll be fishing with Stefan Jansen off the shores of Cabo San Lucas, but nothing starts my day like a good cup of coffee at Cafe Canela right on the marina in Cabo. Stefan Jansen's store is right next to Cabo Wamba, right down the street, easy to find, and has anything you want to catch something from the beach. Stefan and I have been fishing together for about a year now. Um, since he, uh, I met him, he'd opened the shop and spent several days on the water. Um, this trip coming down with Stefan, we are really wanting to get into some big roosters and um, had to work really hard at it. I think I might throw that magic swimmer just to start off with and see. Oh, back, back in Holland, I uh, worked in a tackle shop and in the off season, which is our, you know, our winter months over there, uh, I decided I wanted to take off you know, unpaid vacation for three months and explore the world a little bit. So I'd been here on a previous two week trip and enjoyed Cabo. Uh, Decided to try it out for three, four months and kind of fell in love with the place, kept coming back. Obviously in Holland the fishing is a, it's not as good as it is in Cabo. Uh, the weather is an issue and we've got cold water, uh, shallow water fish, nothing to get really, really excited about. And I always dreamt about catching a marlin and Cabo is the place to do it. About 10, 15 years ago, you, you couldn't buy any, any lures for casting off the shore here in, in Baja. Uh, most of the local people were making their own lures, and so did I. Came up with a design of a lure, almost like a torpedo bullet shape that would allow you to cast very far, uh, which is the key to success here. You need to get quite a bit of distance. And then at the same time, I wanted something that could plane to the surface real easy and stay on top. I opened the shop in 2000, so that's 10 years now. Needless to say, we got all the equipment a guy would need to, to catch a fish off the beach. Everybody's coming to work. I'm going to play. Ideal conditions this morning. We're out of the wind, been blowing for Stefan said three weeks or a month, and we finally get out of the wind this morning and have bait, have birds. It's not a lot of big fish yet. High tide is in about two and a half hours though, so which is what you want to fish down here. So we'll see what happens as the morning goes along. We may move locations, we may stay here a little bit. This is really protected, which is nice. If we go up to the coast to the north, it'll be probably real windy. It's a big coral. Big 
One of the most entertaining things about fishing with Stefan is watching his dogs boily and worm catch crabs out of the sand. Hey, get out of there! Hey! So Stefan, we drove for about an hour and a half. Where, where are we? I know we're near Todos Santos or outside of Todos Santos somewhere. North of Todos Santos, yeah, quite a ways. We've got as far as you can see in every direction that we could fish. Exactly, and this will go on all the way up to Mag Bay. He's all talkative. Not a Boone and Crockett. No, but he's digging out. Fun. <laughs> Hooked really well. <laughs> Dragging this through the sand all the time, these points get a little rounded over. So, you know, it'd just be my luck if I didn't take the time to go ahead and sharpen. I'd get a big fish that I couldn't couldn't get hooked. So, let's take a minute here, put a nice edge on this these three hooks. Our first day, um, there was a lot of cold water, and we had to run a long way. In fact, all the way up to Toto Santos, almost a two-hour drive. When we got up to Toto Santos, we thought uh, it was windy, but the conditions were uh, in the water were perfect for catching some snook. And we cast and cast and cast, it just did not happen for some reason. I got him, I got him, I got him! Stop it! You know, the water conditions were perfect today for catching snook. They love the water churned up, and it was just like that, exactly what we needed. Kind of windy, but all we could really get was a bunch of jacks. So, hey, take what you can get. Stephen came out here yesterday and just caught a ton of fish, and, and today you came back and Thought, gosh, it'll, it'll happen again. And initially, you start off with a bunch of jacks, and it looked like it was really going to come off. But this kind of weird, cold, foggy thing rolled in. You can see it behind us. And as we were fishing, you could look down the beach, you could hardly see the other guys. So it was, I mean, I'm actually kind of shivering yeah, <laughs> in June in Cabo, which is not typical at all. But uh, just kind of shut things down. We had a few jacks, but. The fish just didn't come off like we thought they would. No, no, they didn't cooperate today. Well, like you said, it's all weather related now. I mean, cold yeah. front moves in and it just shut things down. I mean, it's, yeah. just, it's just so strange to look out in, in Cabo San Lucas or anywhere down here in this time of year and see this just thick layer of fog. I mean, you can't, the, both the lighthouses are on that ridge, you can't hardly see them. It's just strange. You can see forever down here usually, so. And I'm, I'm kind of shivering. I'm wet and I'm not, the water's warm, but when you're wet and out of the, in the wind, it's yeah. cold. Bacon and eggs? Sounds good. All right. <laughs> Day three, maybe third time is a charm, but the wind will not let up. We can't get away from the wind. I hate the wind. 
third morning together was just brutal. There was a, a horrible wind, um, hard to cast. There was there was some bait, but um, I mean, my cameraman's hat got blown off, and it, and it went two miles down the beach. I mean, it, he couldn't even go after it. It was blowing so hard. You know, this is Baja. You come down here, you want to catch a huge fish, and you just got to commit a little bit of time to do it. The fish will be here. It's just a function of time, finding the right conditions, and hooking up. At least we had a few jacks today, um, and, and a lot of them were smaller, a couple of them were nice, but you know, you can always count on a jack to get you through the day. The star of the show was the Valley Hoop. Uh, There's a new lure for Stefan, and it's got just the appropriate uh, sections of weight, and it floats, and it was ideal for the type of conditions we were in. And, and this is the Ballyhoo, and it, it's got it's got some weight inside. It makes a little bit of noise, but it's got three chambers inside. A third of the weight is in the front, and two thirds in the back, and then the front part is hollow. So it comes through the water like this, and I mean these fish aren't eating just the back hook. When you get it there, this much of the lure is showing. I mean, they were just all over this thing. I saw this dorsal and everything, and I got hooked up at that little the rooster, but then I, you feel the tail. Yeah. I'm going, oh. But oh, yeah. Fight. Hey, after all these casts, I'll take them. There's been roosters all over the place here. Last, yesterday morning and yesterday evening, and wasn't supposed to blow today. But, oh, I stepped outside of the hotel room this morning at 5, and uh, I was just like this. <laughs> but uh, we know there's fish here. There's a lot of bait here. Just going to try a little different bait. I was on the Ballyhoo. I'm going to switch to a Cabo Killer, also made by Jansen. And he's really got the lures dialed in from fishing down here for so many years and seeing what these fish eat. So it's just skitters on the top of the water. It's really effective bait. We'll try it on. See what happens. This is not typical June weather in Cabo. Hardly keep my hat on this morning. Just casting and casting and casting. In fact, I thought we should rename the show Casting the Baja because we're not catching anything right now. Gosh, we just could not get on these roosters. We knew that there were fish there. We had the ideal conditions and we had a few jacks, some okay size, but really not what we were looking for. We had heard that uh, there was a pretty decent bite on the same beach in the afternoon, so we thought, you know, third time wasn't a charm, maybe fourth time will be a charm. So far out now, he's got, I got 500 yards of line on here, he's got 150 of it out. got to this beach and it was unbelievable. But what was different this time was all the fish were 30 and 40 pounds and larger. Just huge, huge roosters. I mean, it was a rooster fest. Fish all over. It wasn't like you had one fish coming after your lure. You'd look in a wave and there'd be 20, 30, and they're all huge fish. Unbelievable day. This huge. I mean, you can eat stuff. Look, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> 
The rooster fish is a neat fish. Seven long spines on the dorsal. Um, great fighter, but really not very good table fare. Finally, after casting and casting and casting, I mean wearing my fingers out casting, I hook up to a big rooster and the race is on, rip and drag, and it's, it's a fight. I'll have him this next wave. That has been the ideal bait for what we've had. Yeah. Wow. Let's go get a little video. This has been with the wind. The ballyhoo totally stays in the water. Perfect. Stephen, this is the perfect bait for here. Except I got it hooked in me, which is not good. Just barely, I think. Ow. Okay. Okay. Ah. Wow. Ah. Stephen, that is so, so cool down here. A good bet coming back here this afternoon. It is, it is. Let's get this guy in the water. Watch this one. Okay. Rooster fish is formidable all by himself. I mean, they're very, very powerful. Even in the Jack family, they're amazing. You know, the rooster fish by itself is really powerful. But then they use the waves to, they get their body sideways, and as the wave goes out, they use it to pull themselves out. So they really get tough in the waves.
finished up the day and, and Stefan just had a beautiful rooster, uh, got some great pictures and you know what a day. It just, when it comes off in Cabo, it comes off big.